Hi, welcome to day 11 of Black History Month. For day 11 of Black History Month, I will be featuring Frederick Douglass and Lorraine Hansberry. Frederick Douglass was born enslaved, but became a well-known social reformer, abolitionist, orator, writer, and statesman. After escaping from slavery in Maryland, he became a national leader of the abolitionist movement in Massachusetts and New York, becoming famous for his oratory and incisive anti-slavery writings. Frederick Douglass's oratory skills countered the slave owner's narrative that slaves lacked the intellect. In 1872, against his wishes, Frederick Douglass was the first African-American nominated as vice president of the United States under the then Equal Rights Party. In 1889, Frederick Douglass was appointed the United States Minister Resident to Haiti. He served in that position until 1891. Frederick Douglass, born in 1817 or 1818 in Talbot County, Maryland, died on February 20th, 1895 in Washington, D.C. I just have to put this little rant, so to speak, in here that when people say that Nothing was lost in a sense in slavery. Not knowing when you're born, mm, it changes things. For them not to even be able to trace his birth date, his actual birth date, that's pretty sad. But, you know, welcome to America. Lorraine Hansberry was a playwright and writer. She was the first African-American female author to have a play performed on Broadway. Her best-known work, the play A Raisin in the Sun, which highlighted the lives of Black Americans living under racial segregation in Chicago.
Lorraine Vivian Hansberry, born on May 19, 1930, in Chicago, Illinois, died on January 12, 1965, in New York, New York. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If this is your first time to the channel, or maybe your second or third, and you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please do. If you want to support the channel on a monthly basis, please check out the membership tab for more information on that. I appreciate each and every one of you. Be well, wear your mask. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you.